Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I filmed this look for you, so if you like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. First I'm going to go in with Physician's Formula Argan Oil. This is the one with like little sparkles in it. And I'm just going to massage that into my skin because my skin was feeling really dry today. Then I'm going to take my Manic Panic White Foundation and just apply a little bit on my face before I put my normal foundation color on just to lighten it a little bit. The foundation I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation and I'm just going to apply that right in with that white foundation and then I'm going to blend it in with my sponge. And guys, this fucking beautiful wig is from Eva Hair. I'll link it down below as per usual and these contacts are from a company called TTD eyes. I will also link them down below. For concealer, I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And same thing with the foundation. I'm first putting some of that white down and then the concealer just to lighten it. My camera died and I didn't get to record a proper intro and outro for this video, so that's why the whole thing is going to be voiceover. And as usual, I'm going to set my under eyes and everywhere else on my face with the Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. First with a sponge and then with a big old fluffy brush. For contour, I'm taking this Profusion Contour Palette in that shade right there. And then I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones and under my jaw and I'm also going to show you guys how I have recently been contouring my nose. So here I'm contouring my nose and what I'm going to do is lightly take that shade, the same shade that I used to contour my cheeks, and draw two straight lines on each side of my nose, but making the lines in more, not actually following the shape of my nose so I can make it appear slimmer and I'm also contouring underneath the tip of my nose. A little bit too to make it seem less round and then I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit with the brush that I used to apply it then gonna go over it with my sponge that I use for the foundation and powder and everything and going back over it to blend it and make it look way less harsh for eyes I'm gonna use the Urban Decay electric palette first I'm gonna take Savage I think that's what it's called just the pink shade in that palette and I'm going to be applying this in kind of a halo shape, not kind of I am going to be applying this in a halo shape, leaving darkening the outer and inner corners but leaving the middle blank. This is a very simple look, I literally use three colors for the whole look. But I'm just going to blend that into the crease and then start focusing it more on the outer and inner corners. Just like any other look, you want to build up the color and then blend it out, build it up and blend it out. And I'm going to use the same color on my lower lash line. And the brush I'm using for this is a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I'm not exactly sure the name of it, but it's one of their newer ones. Now I'm going to go in with Jilted, I think that's what it's called, and just pretty much doing the exact same thing but this color is darker so it's going to darken it and add more depth to the look not much but very subtle
gonna go in with the silver shade it's called revolt and I'm gonna put that on my brush and then spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray and then apply that to the lid it'll just make it come off way more metallic then I'm gonna go over top of that with more dry eyeshadow and that will help set it even more and make it pop even more same shade is going on my inner corner but I'm not wetting it this time so it's not going to be as intense and blending out the edges a little bit with that same brush we used for the pink then taking Melt Cosmetics dark matter eyeshadow and applying that with a little angle brush along my lash line to kind of act as eyeliner to help our lashes blend in a little better I'm taking this NYX slide on glide on something 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 pencil the white one and applying that in my waterline and I tried to find a lipstick that matched my hair which I think I did pretty fucking good and I wasn't expecting to but this is CoverGirl Outlast lip color and the number is 805 and it doesn't have a name on it and when I tried to look up the name it I just couldn't find anything on it so yeah I'm just using that color if you can find it let me know that is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed it maybe learned a thing or two. If you did, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a future video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I love you.